Well, good morning. We're live in the uh, newsroom of the Brazil Times. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. And uh, Northview split a pair of home soccer games against visiting South Vermilion on Tuesday evening. That comes from our uh, sports editor, Kerry Fox. The Knights' Ashton Rollo recorded his second hat trick in as many games as Northview recorded a 4-1 to victory over the Wildcats. The Northview girls rallied late against South Vermilion but came out on the short end of a 4-2 to decision. And Kerry has some photos for us uh, on the Times website. Also, let's see here. We have an updated story from uh, yesterday, new overnight. Uh, a traffic stop for speeding led to the arrest of two men earlier this month on drug-related charges by the Clay County Sheriff's Department. According to court documents, shortly after 1 a.m. September 7th, a sheriff's deputy on patrol in the area of West Pinkley and Alabama streets in Brazil observed a motorcycle traveling at a high rate of speed. The driver, Tony, better known as T.J. Helt, allegedly accelerated westward, turning left onto Ridge Street without signaling or stopping at a stop sign and then continuing uh, towards State Road 59 before turning into the parking lot of his business, T.J.'s Towing, 200 South Forest Avenue. Once the motorcycle stopped, the deputy watched as a black case fell onto the ground. Helt quickly got off the bike to pick it up and stuff the item inside his shirt, court documents said. As the officer attempted to ask Helt about the case, a brief scuttle ensued and Helt threw the case near a fenced-in area across the highway. Once Helt was secured in handcuffs, the deputy retrieved the case, which reportedly contained two plastic bags later determined to have methamphetamine and marijuana inside. There were also rolling papers, a small spoon, and a syringe. And that's an updated story from... Uh, yesterday's edition of the Brazil Times. Mayor Brian Wyndham is pictured with Kelly Kathy Gilbert, regent for the Eliza Riley, I'll say that right, regent for the Eliza Risley Stacy chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. The mayor signed a proclamation Tuesday designating the week of September 17 to 23rd as Constitution Week while celebrating the 229th anniversary of the drafting of the Constitution of the United States and the 200th anniversary of the statehood of Indiana, members have gone to various schools encouraging the students to read the Constitution. And it's going to be a nice warm day for us today. Uh, no fall weather yet, but it will be coming, I am sure. So, that's what's new. That's what's happening. Be sure and check out the BrazilTimes.com. We're starting to get some feedback on our uh, new website. We hope that uh, we'll hear from you. Tell us what you like, what you'd like to see changed, and uh, we'll do the best we can to accommodate. I'm Frank Phillips from the Brazil Times. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.